Hi guys, this is Maggie from Practical Tidbits. I am here today to talk about my new purchase. It's a Louis Vuitton Bandolier 30 in Damier Bin. I've been using it for past a little over two weeks and I kind of wanted to wait a little bit and, and before I did this review um, because I wanted to see how I felt about it. I've been eyeing this purse and and I've sort of um, messaged back and forth with various YouTube gurus um, on on this uh, on which Louis Vuitton purse um, they liked and which one they would recommend and all that and and I really appreciated everybody's input um, but anyway I got this purse and I wanted to do a quick review on my first impression after using it for over just over two weeks one it is I, I love the fact that I don't have to worry about weather when I take this out, <laughs> whether it's going to rain or whatever. Um, I don't worry. So I just love that. That being said, um, it's not completely worry-free in the sense that I got in the two weeks, I got a little, two little scratches right inside right here. Just, you can see a little scratch mark and I'm not going to even show you because it's not going to show up. Um, two tiny little scratches and I don't even know how I did it. Um, so you can get little scratches on this leather part. Um, the, the other con is that the zipper, when it's sitting on the table, it seems to be for the most part okay in zipping back and forth like this. However, when I'm holding onto it and I try to zip it open or close, sometimes it would get stuck right around here or right around here because I think it's because there is a little um, raised portion right here where the seam is and it gets sort of raised and then it there's an indentation same thing on this side there's a little bit of a bump and right after the bump is where I usually get stuck it's it, I get stuck right around here so I I would I would like to know if anybody else has that problem or whether it's just unique to this purse that I have. Um, so I, you know, if you can let me know if other people have that problem, no big deal. I, I won't do anything about it. Um, or if not, maybe, I don't know if it's something that's going to get better with time or whether I should go talk to my sales associate. Anyway. Other than that, I love this purse. I love the short handle, which I thought I would never use because I usually am sort of a sh over the shoulder or cross body kind of gal. But I've been using this handheld area a lot. I put it in the crook of my arm, like, and I you feel a little more feminine when you hold on to it like this and put it in the crook of your crook of your arm and just sort of walk around like that. Um, of course, I have this. I take the middle part out normally. And I just use it as a shoulder purse. But the other day, um, yeah, I think it was the day before yesterday, I was walking around at Costco and I was like lifting this heavy water bottle case. And I thought, wait a minute, I have the middle piece. I could make it into a long messenger bag style. So I put this in, had it all across my body, and I could lift up whatever I needed to at Costco and buy things and um, and not be in the way so I love the versatility of this purse the other thing is I love the feel of how it's gotten a little slouchier as um, I've had it for the last couple weeks and one thing bad about this purse is that it is a big hole big cavern with only this as an extra pouch and this fits my um, my iPhone 5 this this pocket fits my iPhone 5 fine, but it will not fit my husband's. Um, he has a Note 3, and that does not fit it. It's too, it, the pocket is too small. After trying to use this as having no purse organi organizer in my purse for a, a few days, I just couldn't stand it because I couldn't find anything. I'm like rummaging through to find keys, and actually my keys fit into this little thing, but then. I was afraid that I would scratch this inside up, so I didn't want to use it. Um, so what I ended up doing is I had a purse sling organizer that I had gotten for my um, Louis Vuitton Horizontal Batignol, but after I purchased it, I realized it didn't fit. Um, 
because the, the batignol had a little um, indentation on the side so this was sort of big and it was sort of awkward fitting so I ended up using this sort of this is a jumbo size for um, for my Longchamp um, Planique uh, so so that's why it has a zipper because the batignol didn't have a zipper and I wanted something with a zipper and then I ended up using this for Longchamp tote and now I have this in my speedy 30 bandolier and I, I and, it, and it's really helped with with the organization so let me just go through it really quick I have in one pocket right here I asked for this so that I can put the middle piece of the bandolier in and so I carry it normally with me which and just put it right here and it fits perfectly um, then I have hand sanitizer and I have um, this is a lotion here's an, another hand sanitizer right there um, and then here on the second pocket because there's a pocket here where that's one pocket and then right in front of it is another pocket and I have my keys for my husband's car and my travel drive. Um, and then in the other side, I have my phone. That's the wrong way. Phone fits comfortably right here. And I usually put my phone and keys right there so for quick access. And this pocket also fits my husband's Note 3. So this is a roomy, roomy pocket. Um, this is my comb. I carry pencil, little section for pencil or a pen holder. Um, and then I have a compact mirror right here. I have also keys, keys that I hung up in this little thing. And I, these are keys I don't normally use, so I just sort of have it just in case I need it. And then, of course, the big inside pouch has my, um, it's hard to do this looking at the camera, my Kate Spade wallet, which I love. And I'm going to have to do a review on this Kate Spade wallet because there's a pro, there's pros and cons to this. And it's great, but it's very stiff. Here is my um, makeup case. Here is my medicine pouch. Here is my card case, which has my you know, reward card and cards that I don't normally use. I carry it and I love this coach um, card case. It's just the perfect size. Carries everything. And then, oh, come on up. Come on up. Um, and then this is just the receipt. Anyway, so I love this. Um, organizer the oh and I usually carry my glass case oh, the only thing I don't like about this color maybe it's this color is that when I put it in here and this is dark brown or brown color I'm jumbo size I find that I have a hard time um, sometimes it's very dark see how dark it is and sometimes it's you know it's dark so I think in my as I sort of get into this um, purse this is this is a new sort of passion for me now sort of and that I, I think my like my wallets and things inside I want it light color so I can I can see it uh, more easily but so Bottom line, love, love, love this purse. This is one of my favorite purse. And so far, after two weeks, um, the zipper, for the most part, works okay, except for the edges. Sometimes it gets stuck. Again, I'd love your input on whether this is a case for you guys or not, especially when you're holding onto it. Um, there are tiny little scratches, which I don't even know how I got it, but two little scratches right inside of this little handle. Um, I love the versatility of being able to take this off or on. Um, there's been plenty of modeling shots with this purse and different YouTube channels, so I'll I won't be doing any I'll, I won't do any modeling shots. But love the opening. I was worried about the opening. I thought it would be too small, but I'm finding that it it's not. Um, it's plenty. 
plenty big for me to put things in and out. My iPad fits in, certainly my Kindle fits in here. Um, I've also put a sweater on top of it. So this is a big purse, which without looking huge, in, in, I think. It looks, because it's deep, when you look at it like this, it doesn't look that huge. And um, I, I don't, I'm not rough with my purse, but I also don't baby it, but I don't put it on the floor. I don't do anything like that. So I try to be careful. I mean, this is a, a lot of money. So I try to, um, I, I figure that this is something I would have for the rest of my life and I could maybe give it to my daughter um, later on and it'll still be in style. So um, I hope you enjoyed my review of my Louis Vuitton purse. Thanks. Bye.